All right, here we have the HTI sniper rifle. This thing was in the open beta and was definitely the most powerful sniper rifle. It's a 50 cal, and it's quite, quite nice. It's got the least amount of bullet drop on it. Uh, huge damage, huge accuracy. Very, very, very poor handling. Like the worst in the game. Handling is how fast you ADS in this. Almost maxed out range. Um, very low rate of fire, unfortunately. And very high penetration. Mm. As far as the parts, you've got all sorts of different scopes that were not in the open beta. Unfortunately, we didn't get to use any real sniper scopes other than this ACOG here. Trigger only has the semi-auto trigger. There's only a five-round magazine. And there is two different barrels, the standard barrel and long barrel. Long barrel will um, actually put this up to maxed out damage, almost maxed accuracy, and maxed out range, which is quite nice. And then your muzzle, you can either have a suppressor here or your stock muzzle. Keep in mind with the suppressor, uh, even if you have the skill that removes the damage penalty, uh, it reduces the travel time of your bullet. So let me just show you here. Let's put the suppressor on it um, and go shoot it. So let's see. Let's just uh, say we're going to shoot up there. There's probably an enemy in there. Right now I've got it on easy mode, so just in case. I don't want it to ruin the video. Let's actually shoot Generator that support. skull on the wall the there. Uh, let's see. What's the range of that? 225 meters. There's not going to be much bullet drop at all with this gun at 225 meters. So let's see, we'll probably aim, if we're aiming for its forehead, we probably aim about right, uh, right there, a little bit higher. Pretty nice, as you can see, the travel time isn't too bad at 225 meters, but if we uh, shoot one more, reload, and remove this suppressor. So... When you remove the suppressor, the bullet speed is a night and day difference. And he's, he's hitting that wall really quick. So I know there's a lot of people complaining about the bullet speed in this game, which um, does seem really slow and fairly unrealistic, but I actually like the feature. It doesn't make it so that... Once you get that advanced suppressor, that suppressors are just something that you'll always have on your gun. Because it really, really does change. Um, I'd say it's a 50% drop in uh, velocity here. Let's throw it back on just one more time. But this gun is really, really cool. I enjoy it. It sounds badass with that suppressor off as well. Let's uh, shoot somebody with it. What do we got here? There he is. Oh, right over his head. I am an awful shot. I apologize for that one, guys. Let's see what it does to a to a helicopter. Let's shoot this helicopter. I think that hit. It may not have. getting closer. I don't know if those were hitting. I may be an awful shot. There we go. We got one shot. Two shots. Three, there's four of them landed. Come on, blow up. It's not even smoking. That's kind of what it was. There we go. He's down. I think it took like five or six shots. I don't have vehicle destruction maxed out either, um, but not too bad. I mean, I'd rather shoot that thing with my um, grenade launcher, but you know, whatever. So the location of this is in this box here. On the map, it is in the Montioc training base in the Montioc province here. So the building it's in is this little little thin building next to the the big one in the north of this little uh, training facility and let's see let's let's do some Ansel here and show you exactly what this building looks like it is nighttime apologize for that as well guys but um 
It happens. Come on, zoom out. What are you doing, Ansel? Oh, I was stuck on a corner. I'm still stuck. There we go. So it is in this armoriha. <laughs> armoriha. Armoria. I'm assuming that's uh, armory in Spanish. And let's get a better, better pan out here. That's the biggest, most northern building in this training camp. And it, if you looked on the ma map, this training camp kind of has two little uh, segments to it, separate by the road. This is the more eastern one. So here is the city, or the camp, whatever you want to call this. And that is the building that it's in. If you guys didn't know about NVIDIA Ansel, it's really awesome. You have to be in single player for it to work, but... It is amazing. Really, really love this feature. You hold Alt and push F2, and you can do some really badass stuff for screenshot capturing, and it's pretty sweet. I'd really love for them to add some uh, theater mode so you can use something like this after recording like a mission. That'd be really cool. But um, yeah, that's this gun. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. We're going to have every single gun location. Uh, test firing each gun. Inbound. And also all of... Whoa there. I do have this on easy right now. Otherwise I would have been dead. Just for these videos. Oh my goodness. Oh, I reached level 20 in the beta. Look at me. Get to cover. I just blew that vehicle up. Okay, so I'm thinking what happened there was the bullets were penetrating through all of the um, the players that I just killed. Or not players, NPCs that I just killed. And ended up blowing up the vehicle behind it from shooting through it so many times. That was actually kind of cool. I did not intend to blow that up with my... Uh, my rifle here, but this thing is strong. So yeah, don't forget to check out the other videos, and thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already.